Hey guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to add shortcut to a folder in Google Drive. Before we jump in guys, would you mind taking a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video. And on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now let's continue. So as you can see here on my screen, I'm in Google Drive, guys, and I'm going to find a folder and create a shortcut so that you can learn how to do the same. So let me go ahead and go to my drive here on the left hand side and let's open up this everyone folder here. I have a folder inside here by the name of shortcut. And in order to create a shortcut of this folder, put it wherever you want. You just need to right click on this folder here and then you want to go down to organize and then you'll see add shortcut now if i click on this i can go ahead and i can choose where i want to store this so let's say i would like to store it under a separate folder let's choose the all folder i can click on that and i can simply click on add here or click the add and once i do that this folder will now have a shortcut inside the all folder let me show you so if i go back go to all you will see that this folder here is a shortcut and if you look on the icon you can see that it's a shortcut because it have this arrow upwards on it and it tells you that it's a shortcut as well right so that's it so you can always go ahead and open up that folder now another way how to create shortcuts is to simply create a shortcut of this folder on your computer and i'm using windows so i'm going to show you how to do that so whichever folder you want to create a shortcut for on your windows computer let's use the same shortcut folder here you want to go ahead and open up that folder guys let me go ahead and minimize this browser then you want to go ahead and ensure that you select the url so you want to ensure that the url is fully selected in your browser and just simple drag the url to your desktop and that's going to create a shortcut and look at that so it creates a shortcut now at any point in time i want to open this i can simply double click and it will open up that folder here on my desktop no i know that the icon looks a bit weird because it is currently pulling the icon of this shortcut based on your browser and you can see mine is looking like google chrome but that's pretty easy you can always go ahead and change this so if you right click on the icon on your desktop and simple go to properties you can go here and choose change icon and you can choose something else so i have a bunch of icons here i can click on browse and i can see if i have some other icons on my computer that i can choose and if i have a different icon i can always go ahead and choose a folder icon or whatever right so you can choose some from windows or you can download some icons now where can you find icons to download let's say you're looking for a google drive icon or a folder icon you can easily find that so you want to go to your browser and you simply want to type in icon icons that's a website that allows you to find icons and if you go to this website here it's a free website you can just easily go ahead and search for google or folder in this case so if i type in folder you will see that they have folders here that I can easily choose. So I can choose something if I want, whatever option I want. Let's say I would like to choose, um, let's choose this one here. I can click on this. Let's go ahead and remove this. And you want to download the ICO version. Just simply click on the largest option, click on download. And it's gonna download on my computer. There it goes. And then you want to go back to that icon on your computer here, click on browse, find that icon like you see I have it here and click on open and there you have it. If I click OK, apply, you will see that it now changes to that wonderful icon. And you can rename this shortcut here on your computer so you can easily access it. And that's it. Very easy and very simple. Here you have it, guys. I really hope you found value within this video. And if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.